Hey everybody, welcome back to Quantum of Solace. We're taking another big jump story-wise today. And again, if you haven't seen the movie, it may not make a lot of sense to you. We are going from an opera house in Austria to a level in Bolivia called Sinkhole. Not a whole lot to say, so let's get this thing started. Bond, where are you? Did you get my pictures? Can you link these people? Is that stress in your voice? I need you to come in and debrief. I don't have time. Bond, you killed a member of Special Branch. Well, who is he guarding? All you need to know is that he's one of the Prime Minister's closest advisors, which makes him one of the most powerful men in Britain. You must come in. Not yet. Green's organization are about to help General Madrona take over Bolivia. I insist you come in. I'll call you back. That sounded like gunfire. We've managed to track him. He's on a plane outside La Paz with Camille Rivera. Send someone after him. Someone already is. General Madrano bonds on to something. Can he survive? They'll have to bail out. That plane's not going to last. There, they've jumped. They're dropping fast. They've just connected in midair. Must have only one chute between them. 5,000 feet. Still falling. They're at terminal velocity. Come on, Bond. The chute's deployed. They've slowed down. Now we've just got to find them before Madrano does. Okay, so we are underground again, this time in a giant sinkhole. We do finally get to meet Camille Rivera, the Bolivian Secret Service agent. Now, we don't know too much about her at this point, but we do know she tried to kill General Madrano. So we're gonna team up with her and try and get out of this situation. Thanks, Camille. You may notice we didn't start this level with a gun, so that's kind of annoying. James, get down! And look at that. Something you might call a competent partner, even though they are all scripted events. So Camille is up there, and she's going to be distracting these bad guys who just repelled in from a helicopter. We need to sneak up on this guy and steal his weapon. Careful, Bond. They're sending in the soldiers. Easy enough, and we find a new weapon, the TND-16. TND may or may not be a reference to Tomorrow Never Dies. It's a pretty standard assault rifle. Uh, it defaults to a three round burst. They're closing in. I've got to keep moving. I'll see you up ahead. I don't understand. A lake full of water and Bolivia is dying from thirst. They use dynamite. This used to be a riverbed. Grin isn't after the oil, he wants the water. And there we have essentially the main plot point of Quantum of Solace. Essentially, Green and the rest of Quantum are trying to... I guess mine or collect 
uh, all this water from these underground rivers in Bolivia and sell them back to the government. They're making this deal by assisting General Medrano in his coup against the government. As far as a Bond plot goes, it's kind of kind of weak, actually. That's sort of the main problem people have with Quantum of Solace. I think this right here might actually be our first real firefight we've actually had this game. Difficult firefight, anyway. Actually had a lot of trouble recording this. Died a bunch of times. I'm pretty sure one of the first things you learn when you learn to fly a helicopter is not to fly them underground, and that's why. In any case, you may have noticed in the bottom left we picked up a new grenade type, something that I guess you could call support grenades. And this one that we have right now is a smoke grenade. And it will quite quickly actually fill an area with smoke. Personally, I find them annoying and they really hurt you more than they hurt the enemy, so I won't be using them. So here we have that helicopter we just saw crash with some dead bodies. And here we're going to get a defense section. We get to use this mounted turret to try and defend against a whole bunch of enemies who are all going to rush our position. I think all the rest of this debris and fire and stuff is all from our crashed plane that was mentioned in the uh, intro sequence. Partway through this they're going to start throwing smoke grenades and rushing us from every position all at once. The section's not really difficult, it's just kind of annoying. And there we go. One last guy it looks like. Let's switch this to single shot. Don't want to waste any ammo. Also up here, we're going to find the first and only phone in this level. And it says all sniper teams need to have grenade launchers for combat support. Not terribly interesting, but it's going to come in useful very, very shortly. Take this shot. She keeps moving. I need a clear line of sight. Next time, don't hesitate. Take the shot. Just a little further. <clears throat> come on. Oh! And after those two takedowns, we got a new weapon, the M14 Scoped. 
which is used as a sniper rifle. It's actually pretty good. James? But remember that text message about the grenade launcher. So over here in this crate, we're going to find a new weapon. The DAD system, which is a little grenade launcher thing. Well, the grenades don't lob, they fire like rockets. We're actually going to see that a couple times throughout the game, and it's a pretty effective weapon. Okay, they sent one last helicopter at us. We gotta take this thing out. Now you're supposed to shoot this. I don't actually know where you're supposed to shoot it. There are times that I get this on my first shot. Sometimes I aim for the gunner, sometimes I aim for the pilot, sometimes I aim for the engine. I don't really know what it is you're actually supposed to hit, but eventually it will crash. Too bad Midrano wasn't in that helicopter. And so Camille will strike a pose, and that'll be the end of the video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.